Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for part 9 of my Let's Play Undertale series. We just got done dating Papyrus. That was quite an interesting and hilarious time. So now we're going to continue onward through the game. Toward what we hope will be a way back home. And we got some nice foreground effects going on here. Nice little waterfall, right on. Alright, what do we got going on? Yo! Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I did. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Let's see. This is this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. Interesting. What? I haven't seen a guy with two jobs. Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. <laughs> All right. Over here, I know a shortcut. All right. Oh wow, that was fast. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansie. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. <laughs> anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> Hook us up, Grillby. So, what do you think? Of my brother. If his attacks and his shirt are to, be, are to be believed, he's a pretty cool guy. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Jeez. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, why not? Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours on you. Ah, Sans. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll make it. I hope he does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Uh-oh. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's a bastard. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Um, no, I'm talking about Flowey, actually. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Yeah, it's gotta be Flowey. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? I'll do what I can. Thanks. Yeah, Flowey is not to be messed with. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. I don't have that money. Just, just kidding. Real be put it on my tab. I'm... By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, Doke. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. 
Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. <laughs> let's, let's get back to where we were going. Jeez, Sans. So, apparently Flowey is talking to Papyrus and giving him encouragement, among other things. So, you gotta watch out, Papyrus. In fact, I'm gonna call you. We got his cell number in the last episode. Let's give him a call. Ring, ring. This is where I tried to capture you! What a terrible memory! <laughs> yeah, it's also extremely cold here. Extremely cold. Let's push right on through. So this is where all those ice blocks that that big wolf is throwing is coming through. Or coming from, excuse me. Let's hang out again sometime. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yes, indeed it does. Alright, what do we got here? Another box? Use the box, question mark. Why not? Don't see anything really that we need, so let's just go ahead and exit out of there. See what we got down here. Hey, look, it's an echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, was there like an earthbound type deal? There's like a cave behind a waterfall? Very well could be. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, there we go. What the heck is that? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure, why not? You got the old tutu. Uh, is that a piece of armor, I'm guessing? Old 2-2, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Indeed, it is. So let's go ahead and use it. Equipped the old 2-2. Cool beans. And away we go. Ooh, that's kind of a nice effect. The lighting. Get through here. Oh, dear. That's not good. Hey, it's Papyrus. <laughs> Uh, hi, Undyne! I'm here with my daily report! Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? D did I fight them? Yes, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I, I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're gonna take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have, have to destroy them! You see... You see... Oh man, looks like Undyne's not having it. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Back off. Back off. You didn't see nothing. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You back off. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Jeez. Scared. Whoa. Oh, man. Jeez, kid. You! you did you see the way she was staring at you? That... That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you, what'd you, what'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Man, falling on your face. Better watch your step there, little guy. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Save, press on. What do we got here? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. So I assume we gotta take these to make a bridge. Yeah, right on. Getting it done. Woot woot. Blossoms to make a bridge. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, we got Aaron flexes in. Let's check him out. 24 attack, 12 defense. This seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Oh man. Oh, dude. Flexing. Aaron is sweating bullets. Uh, flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more. Oh no. Oh no. 
This is suddenly, this is, reminds me kind of of uh, Ar Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice! I won't lose, though. Oh, man. Sweat. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Yeah, because Armstrong in Full Metal Alchemist would... That he would fight people like that sometimes. Just flex at them. Intimidate them away. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, we got a couple of these things. Okay. Don't really seem to do much. So, one, two. So, these are only three across, it looks like. Okay, so it's going to be a little harder. Uh, a big water part down here. I want to see what the sign says. Whoop. I think I messed it up. It's got to be four across, right? The bell resets it. Yep. Cool beans. Man, I love that music. There, yeah, let's see what the sign says. Do to do do. It's obviously not the way to continue, but maybe we'll get a little tidbit of info or something like that. We'll put the last one down. There we go. Bridge is formed. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> oh, Toby Fox, you troll. You troll and troll, you. Wonder if there's anything over here. Maybe. Maybe not. Find some secrets. Ah, there we go. One more. Because I'm guessing that top part is the way to go forward. We got a full pad. Oh, we did find a secret. Look at that. There is a lone quiche quickie sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Why not? You got the abandoned quickie. Man, I am not reading that right, I feel. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Okay. Abandoned quickie. Heals 34 HP, a psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Ew. Spinach egg pie? Sounds gross. Jeez. All right, so now how are we gonna do this? Uh, so just straight across isn't gonna work. And then just straight across this isn't even gonna get us over. So maybe, yeah, okay, here we go. Do it from this part of the bridge. And then make our way across after that. Sounds good to me. Dun, 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 dun. This music is very epic. Toby Fox, you did a wonderful job on the soundtrack. Let's see here. Yay! We made it. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! That must have taken a while. Yeah! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Well, I don't want her to track us down, so no. No, I'm not gonna lie. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. <laughs> Come on, Papyrus, don't sell us out. We went on a date with you, even. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hope with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. <laughs> Figured I might as well give the, the echo flower a voice, kind of. Wishing room. Ooh, got in a, getting into battle. Washua shuffles up. Let's check him out. 18 defense, 5 or 18 attack, 5 defense. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. 
tweet, Witzel has a claims! Whoa, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. Washua is friends with a little bird. Act. Uh, clean. You ask Washua to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Green means clean! So I guess we gotta get a green thing. Yeah, we did it. He's rinsing off a pizza, did that do it? Yep. Cool beans. Spare. Nice. Thousands of people wishing together. Can't be wrong. I can't will prove that. <laughs> Come on, it says. Make a wish. <laughs> I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. God, these... That voice is kind of funny. Ah, since my heart's cop is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope. Yes, let's do that. Oh, we got something written. Check wall, it says. Yeah, let's let, let's do that. I'm gonna assume you mean this wall. Yep. Cool beans. And right into it we go. What we got here. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Wow. Jeez. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. The power, its power, allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Oh, jeez. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay. Oh, I didn't know we were going to get taken across. That's cool. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end this video right here, guys, before we jump into the great unknown. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not before. And heck, share this with your friends if you want to get them into the Undertale spirit. Thank you once again for watching, everybody. Stay awesome, and I'll see you all for the next installment.